Clayton this morning coming out. They priced uh, that issue $500 million or so in U.S. bonds. Your thoughts on it? That's right, 500 million. This is the first uh, U.S. public market offering for Leighton. Uh, it's a 10-year bond issue. The coupons, I think, 5.95%. Uh, now, I think this is relatively important for Leighton because recently there has been a, a lot of people looking at Leighton's balance sheet. Uh, their gearing is quite high. It's up around 48% in on a net basis. Uh, on a net basis, and uh, basically they're going to use these funds to refinance their short-term borrowings. Uh, looking at Leighton as a whole, though, um, obviously it has been struggling a little bit. Uh, construction work, they've had problem uh, projects, but these are now starting to come to an end. Uh, recently, we did see them reiterate their calendar year 2012 earnings guidance of uh, 400 to 450 million. Uh, but looking at that, they've that means they're going to have to put in quite a strong performance for the fourth quarter to meet this guidance. Uh, so you might have to be a little bit cautious on Leighton moving through the fourth quarter um, as the downside, uh, the risk, risks do uh, appear to be skewed towards the downsides, which means there may be a fair chance they might come in below this earnings guidance for the full year. Uh, this has been reflected in a few brokers and um, analysts downgrading earnings forecasts. I think we saw RBS downgrading the full year 2013 earnings uh, expectations and also UBS downgrading grading the calendar year 2012 expectations so it is a little bit of tough times for Leighton but this in terms of balance sheet is a positive and the stock's risen about a quarter of a percent. Tim looking at uh, McMahon Holdings looking to review its business mix obviously following that earnings downgrade we saw in September Look, enough do you think to to build confidence back amongst its investors? That is going to be very difficult, I think, James. Um, this is a construction company focused particularly in mining and also civil engineering projects. Uh, they are reviewing their spending plans and business mix. Uh, back in September, I think September 19, we saw them downgrade their earnings expectations by over 50% for the full year. Uh, if we have a look at the, the share price performance following that over the, over the week following that downgrade, the share price dropped around 50%. So we've seen a massive loss in confidence in terms of investors and the market. Uh, this is on the back of its hope uh, downs for rail project write downs as well as concerns over uh, the amount of new construction work that they're going to be able to get. But certainly it's now all about trying to turn around that confidence in the market for the company, which I think will be difficult because this is not the first uh, difficulty they've had with a rail project. We've seen write downs on some of their rail projects in the past. There's some concerns. They did appoint their new CEO. The old CEO quit after that downgrade. Uh, we saw the new CEO was appointed internally, so they didn't look externally for their CEO. And finally, there's certainly definite concerns around the level of mining capital expenditure going on and also the amount of new construction work happening in Australia. So in terms of restoring confidence, it's definitely going to be very difficult with the uh, construction sector in Australia struggling at the moment. Yeah, and then look more broadly. Um not an awful lot happening at the index level at the moment. Investors no doubt uh, eyeing off a couple of other things. What have you made of the session today? Mm, that's right. Pretty quiet day. Only around $1.3 billion traded. Two events obviously on the radar today. The RBA rate decision as well as the Melbourne Cup this afternoon. The ASX up around a third of a percent. And uh, interestingly, healthcare stocks performing very strongly today ahead of the US presidential election. Certainly with an Obama win, we could see significant changes in the healthcare space in America. So some of our healthcare stocks could perform well on the back of that uh, occurring. Uh, while we're looking across sort of the miners and industrial stocks are the ones which are dragging on the market. While financials are performing strongly, they're the ones really supporting the market today. Big four banks all higher. They're all uh, adding over eight points overall to the index. Uh, so certainly the money market looking for a 50 to 60 percent chance of a rate cut this afternoon. Economists a little more op optimistic. Uh, 70% expecting a cut to 3%. Uh, if we look back recently, the money market has been quite accurate in predicting rate cuts. So it really is a line ball decision, certainly only 50% chance. So it really could go either way. Uh, we've seen uh, Australian residential housing and construction really hasn't benefited greatly from the rate cuts so far. The Aussie dollar remains, to, remains significantly high, weighing on um, exporters and manufacturers. So certainly the market would like to see a Reserve Bank rate cut this afternoon.